Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight, today, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the weekly or, uh, rune reading for the elements for the week of December 1st through the 7th of 2024. If you can imagine, we're at the last month of 2024. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> how do you feel about that? I feel like the years just kind of sped by. But if you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac, there's a video linked in the description. Um, and then there's also some cool goodies down there if you're interested in learning more about runes. And if you're curious about your birth charts and all of what all that can entail and mean and how it works out for people. Uh, there's a natal interpretation chart. Um, the natal interpretation chart I'm not sponsored by, but it's a really good resource, especially if you've never had it done. Uh, it gives you your birth chart with the 12 houses and then gives you 10 to 20 pages defining all of that goodness. So it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, with that, we'll get started with our fire family. And fire is Aries Leo and Sagittarius. So if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, then here we go. Or fire's high up in your chart. Uh, your first rune is the Wunjo rune, which is the joy rune. Color of yellow. Tarot association is strength. Astrology is Leo. So this one taps into your fire energy. A sign of happiness, harmony between people, a situation changing for the better. Fire Starting off, you've got this pretty strong energy of things moving in the right direction. And with the strength card, it's saying that you have already gained a significant amount of knowledge moving you in the right direction. Yellow is a good stabilizing energy. It's a good sign of friendship and support as well. And being within astrology of Leo, this is also calling up your leadership abilities. The lion is king of the jungle. <laughs> But it's also about stepping into leadership roles or showing that you can handle situations. That doesn't mean going out and putting yourself in the situation, but if a situation arises, you can actually step into the authoritarian or the authority position because someone has to, you know, usually when you have situations, someone has to be in charge. And this they're saying that this is a good time for you guys to show that off. So your second rune is... My little book's falling apart. Uh, the Uras rune, color of dark green. Tarot association is the high priestess. Astrology is Taurus, so this is some grounding energy, which fire always is, <laughs> works well with fire, with earth. Creative power, wisdom, and knowledge. Good fortune and opportunity. And I'm also seeing with this one, there's a little bit of amorous energy with our fire family. So this week is really about being able to step into a leadership role for our fire family. It's also saying that you have gained skills, knowledge, and abilities, which allows you to be a leader. It doesn't mean you're searching that position out, but if it somehow lands in your lap, it's something that you're more than capable of handling. They're also saying that your, your ability to look at things from a creative or non-typical way is also what allows you to do the things that you do when you have earth coming in it's saying that this could be a good stabilizing energy this could actually work out into something long term in a shift area which means you could end up with you know a pr little promotion possibly or there could be um, other leadership options coming forward for you and they're also saying that Spend some time with your significant other because there is a little of that energy coming up this week. I mean, fire always has that to a certain extent, but this week, try to set aside some time specifically for uh, a more romantic evening, we'll call it. So let's hop over to our Earth family. Earth covers Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Earth, your first rune is the Iowa's rune which is the yew tree, color of dark blue. Terror Association is the hanged man, and astrology is Scorpio, so you're working with some pretty heavy water energy this week. Protection, time of death and rebirth, foresight, and perseverance. What I'm getting with this one is this is a good time for you to 
check out things that are going what's going on in your life right now and then decide is there something that needs to be shifted changed or adjusted the hanged man energy that's coming forward with this and working with Scorpio this is all about dealing with some bullheaded nature that may be coming forward for earth but it's also saying this is a time to shake things up to make the changes that maybe you've been putting off or you're not really sure how to take that next step this is a good week to really examine what needs to be shifted what needs to be changed and what else needs to be brought forward in the meantime so really take the time to examine what's going on this week because it's saying that you've got you've got the ability and the drive to change now it's do you have the want to change your second rune is the Isa rune, which is your ice rune. Its color is black. Tarot Association is the hermit. Astrology is the moon. So we're also kind of still working with some of that water energy here. The It's an obstacle, coldness between people, a time to observe, keep silent, refraining from comment. Just because <laughs> you're uh, looking at things to shake up your life a little bit because something's just not quite setting for you, that doesn't mean that you need to talk to other people about it. When we have the hermit energy coming forward and the color of black, it's meaning to draw away from, to step back from the limelight, whereas our fire family is all about stepping into the limelight this week. Earth, they're saying the best option is to kind of pull back a little bit see what needs to be shifted but you're not going to be able to see it if you're in the middle of a chaotic swirling maelstrom it's really saying step back people are going to think what they think <laughs> you may step back and they're like well that person's being cold this week that's fine they can have that opinion it really doesn't matter in the long term what it is what i'm hearing this is about you making sure that you are in the right position now is if there is someone that you know could give you really good advice or maybe is a good sounding board track that person down this week but it's really saying that you have the ability and the option specifically this week to figure it out on your own but it's good to step away from everything else and sort through that so let's hop over to our air family air covers Gemini Libra and Aquarius so air your first rune Sorry, I don't have all these memorized. <laughs> Too much stuff in my head as it is. We have the Perth rune, which is the Fate rune. Color of black. Tarot association is Wheel of Fortune. Astrology is Saturn. Air, you're dealing with some heavy earth energy this week. Um, <laughs> uh, this is your opposing energy. What I'm hearing is stay balanced as you go through this week. If you have some water friends, go hang out with them because it could be a little rough this week. Uh, mystery, chance, unexpected material gain, surprises, hidden things coming to light. So this is a good time where you may actually be paying attention and watching and seeing things being revealed that other people would rather you not see. Air, you're really good with intelligence. You're really, um, you are good at looking at patterns and seeing how things are playing out. And this week, when you're working with the Wheel of Fortune and you've got some Saturn energy, the Wheel of Fortune is actually a good card in general, and unless it's reversed, but for the most part it's meaning there's forward movement, there's forward energy here. But you also have Saturn coming up, which is a little bit more stern, a little bit more, you sh shake your finger, you know, stern father energy kind of thing. So this week is really, pay attention to what's going on. Really pay attention to the details, and if there is a male manager leader someone who's uh, in a position that's slightly above your above you somehow um, especially if they're male really try to stay on the good side of that they're saying that this could be a really interesting week for you it's they're just they keep emphasizing that stern aspect so it's not gonna be negative but it may not be the most pleasant week is what I'm hearing your second rune is the blank one so we have the weird word rune which is the fate rune um, mystery fate the unknown having trust and faith so this week air big challenge for you you don't get to know what's coming <laughs> but what you do get to know is uh, tread lightly 
do not interfere or don't interact as much as you can with the males the masculine energy in authority positions um, check your astrology and see where Saturn is in there and see how that plays out they're really wanting to emphasize that Saturn aspect for some reason so it could be a little bit stern in certain areas of your week overall this was a week that was intended to happen that's what the fate rune means so this what the way things play out this week are the way they're supposed to play out um, whether that is great bad indifferent that's kind of how you've got things set up so far so if you're set things up good and everything's rolling the right direction cool keep doing that if it's not eh, you might want to recheck a couple of things this week <laughs> but it's not saying super bad it's just saying it could be a little stern this week so let's hop over to our water family water covers cancer scorpio and our Piscians, our fishies now we are starting off with the Inga's rune, which is fertility, color of yellow, tarot association is judgment, astrology is the new moon, completion of ideas or projects, a new beginning, a time of positive energies, good fortune. Water, this is going to, this is looking like it's going to be an exceptionally uh, fertile week. It's going to be a lot of creativity coming forward. They're also saying that this could be a week where relationships are shifting a little bit. If something feels like it's been a little stagnant, this week is going to introduce something new. It could be um, a lot of fun. <laughs> and they're also saying if you're in a single situation, this could be a doorway opening up for something that moves in a more positive way. This week, you're looking at new moon, new energy coming in, judgment. Look at your scales and see where you're at, like not physical scales. But look at kind of how things are balanced in your life. Is there something that needs to be adjusted a little bit? good time to work with that energy and when we're talking fertility it's just meaning it could be an like uh, unexpected new new addition to the household but they're also saying fertility is a creation aspect it could be that you have that genius idea that million dollar idea that's this week's energies was what the dominant one is your second rune is make sure I get the right one this time because I always mess this one up the Degas rune or Degas rune it is the rune of the day. Light color of light blue. Tarot association is temperance. Astrology is the dark moon. Uh, awakening, clarity, success, prosperity, abundance in life. The one thing with the dark moon coming in with this rune is you have a period of quietness. There's a lot of new opportunities that are in the ground. They're so it planted. So everything that you've done with this rune here, the Inga's rune, is has been planted it's starting to germinate and grow you don't always have to see it that's where that dark moon comes in things are happening behind the scenes and they're gonna happen to set you up for success you have laid the groundwork you have put the foundations down you've planted the seeds you have put that um, affirmation into the universal mind what happens next is staying focused on the right thing keeping focused on the outcome not the path the path is the next step ahead of you the goal is down the road so stay focused on the goal and when you have this combination of the day and you also have fertility it's saying this is a really good time for the water family to just stay on the path that they're on the things they've already got rolling don't go adding to something new if something new comes up during this week like a genius idea to tweak it and adjust it to move it faster great but don't go seeking that. It's saying that the fertility is going to be more spontaneous than that. So uh, air, water this week, definitely enjoy how things are moving. Pay attention to how things are getting better. But you don't have to see all of the steps. They're saying the behind the scenes stuff, that's your guides, that's your guardians, that's divine source, God, and energy. That is, even if you've got like a small business you're starting, that's the people behind the scenes that are getting things to, tweaked and tuned so that it runs much more efficiently and they're saying keep your eyes on the goal the details are not really that important for you this week this week next week could be something different so overall all elements as you go forward in this next month this is the last month of the year we're coming upon the Yule season where the sun god returns to earth and brings the light of life back even though it's going into the cold months if you're in the north what is it that you're wanting to bring through in prosperity in the upcoming weeks what is it that you are trying to 
manifest forward. Right now we're in that quiet period between Sawain and Yule. This is a time of rest, recuperation, kind of getting your energy more ready for the upcoming season. So in that time, what long-term things are you working on? What long-term things are you focusing on and bringing your attention to? Between now and Yule, December 21st, it's a good time to just look at the plants. Don't make anything major. Just kind of look at what's going on and see, well, I'm not really sure if I need that anymore. You can take that off the list, but I do need this. So what I'm getting from my guides for everybody this upcoming month is do some self-reflection in the upcoming weeks and see what plans were completed, what energies have been brought to their perfect conclusion, what need to be adjusted to move forward, and what ones you just don't need anymore. So with that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.